Hey everybody, Tim here with tonight's episode of Star Trek The Next Generation, Season 6, Episode 7, Rascals. Oh my god, I love this episode. I've loved this episode since I was a child. And the reason I love this episode is it is so, like, insane and so just, like, whatever. Like, it's impossible that it makes this episode good. Like, your whole suspension of disbelief is you're just like, this is ridiculous. And I realize some people hate this episode because of that, but I don't know. I loved it. It worked for me. So because this episode is just so all over the place, my notes are also kind of all over the place. So kind of bear with me because I'm going to be jumping around. So first off, I want to start. We are now three fourths of the way through the series. So we're in the final, we're in the final stretch. We're almost done with it. So the episode is about Keiko O'Brien, Guinan, and Ensign Rowe, and Picard. I've basically, I, it's not 100% clear, but it seems like they're basically on shore leave. They're on a planet, and they're on their way back. And right off the bat, like, again, Whoopi Goldberg in any episode is great. And Picard's like, oh, I was doing an archaeological study. And Guinan's like, you were on the most beautiful planet in the galaxy, and you spent it in a cave. Like, Guinan's great. She's amazing. And so, from there, the the shuttle basically gets hit by something or other, and when they, the shuttle's about to be destroyed, but to get them back, uh, Chief O'Brien, Miles, beams them on board. And it's interesting, because he's as he's talking about it, he's like, oh, I've lost 40% of their mass. Like, I think I lost one of them. Which is kind of weird, because, like, he's concerned but like his wife could have been one of them so like i would have been freaking out so they beam they come back and they're kids already like you see this and like 50 percent of you are probably like this is just stupid and the other 50 percent are me are like this is great what's about to happen and so it's interesting so picard and all of these kids are kind of interesting because um except for Ro. oops um so the the woman that or the little girl that plays Keiko actually played Ma, um Kalamini's niece in a movie earlier so those two had seen each other before and that interaction leads to some really weird uncomfortable questions like are they going to be continued to be married if they can't cure this or what's going to go on there so that's kind of interesting the little girl that plays Guinan later on after this or right around the same time will also play a young Whoopi Goldberg in the movie Sister Act in that opening scene where they're like name the beat or name the apostles and she's like John Paul George so that's that's the same little girl and then finally Picard the young Picard if you guys watched my previous videos was the little boy that played his nephew Renee in the season three episode two family so it's kind of and in that episode he says like i'm going to be the captain one day and sure enough now he's picard so it's kind of interesting and also i i managed to look it up he is one of the few actors that plays two different characters of the same family like kirk did that in one episode where he plays or william shatner i guess did that in one episode of the original series where he plays kirk and kirk's brother george data obviously and I can't remember the others. It's only been like four or five times. It's it's not very often. Um, so all four of these kids are already really interesting. Now, at this point, Picard is trying to be Picard because they still have the same brain. And But he realizes, thanks to uh, Beverly, that the crew won't accept him. So he gives like ownership to Riker until they can figure it out. Okay, so that little plot right there that I've named is amazing. Like, this episode is already brilliant. To just knock it out of the park, to go one step further, Ferengi, not to be associated with the Ferengi Alliance, as they make clear, have gotten a hold of two Klingon birds of prey and take over the Enterprise. But I can't get over like how asinine this episode is and how just absolutely ridiculous. It's great. It's another Ferengi have taken over the Enterprise and they're they basically like segregated everybody and they're holding everybody hostage. And now from here 
like the kids of course end up being together and Alexander Roshenko, Worf's son, makes an appearance, which I thought that was kind of cool. And because he still treats Picard like he's the captain because he's an older kid. And so they they have some inter interesting interactions there. And then finally, the best, my favorite scene, some people's most hated scene probably, Picard has to go see Riker. And so he just throws this temper tantrum and where he's like, I want to see my dad. Now, 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 now. And then, like, he hugs him. And, like, at this point, we know it's Picard. And so to see Picard and Riker hugging, and it's awkward for them, and it's awkward for us, and the actors are great. Because, I mean, we know Jonathan Franks is a terrific actor. But the, the actor that plays the young Picard is doing phenomenal. Like, it's great because his accent is so thick, and it's not even Picard's accent. But it's he still does such a good job, especially in some of the scenes where Beverly's trying to talk him out of it. And then he's like, thank you, number one. And then they just kind of look at each other. He's my number one dad. I was like, this is just fucking great. Like, I love this episode. From there, it basically has the usual tie-up. They figure out how to defeat the Ferengi. They get everything okay. And then the interesting thing is they use the transporter to basically cure their DNA. Now, this is not the first time we've seen that, not even in The Next Generation. We saw it in Season 2, where it was kind of the opposite effect, where Dr. Polanski was aging, and then we used the transporter to put her back to normal. But even before that, we saw um, there was an animated episode where it was the same thing as this. The original crew were de-aging, and they had to use the transporter to basically get them back up to their correct age. So this is almost a recycled plot from that animated series. Which if you haven't watched my animated series episodes, I did all 22 episodes in four videos. I'd give them a shot. Some of these, some of those are actually really interesting. Um, some more random trivia fact, because like I said, this episode has everything. Uh, this episode was directed by Adam Nimoy, uh, the son of Spock, of Leonard Nimoy. And they wanted him to direct that two-parter, the reunification parts one and two, but he was unavailable. But he was finally able to direct this episode, and then he directs some after this. Gotta flip through my notes, and that's about it. So... Like I said, I love this episode. The, the kid actors do great. I mean, they're they're awkward. And they're not comfortable, just like adolescents. And we're used to seeing the particular actors, like Whoopi Goldberg or Patrick Stewart. So, but I think the kids do amazing in this episode. And I think all of the actors do episode. This this episode is just so well done. I love this episode. Now, I'm sure some of you hate this episode. If you if you do hate it, or you thought it was a weak episode, even. Um, Rick Berman, one of the producers, hates this episode. If you guys don't like it, please tell me why. I mean, I'm probably already listed, but go ahead, let me know why, because I like having discussions with you guys. If you guys are like me and you love this episode, go ahead, let me know, because we can share in our love for this episode. So go ahead, drop me a whole bunch of comments. Thank you guys for everything. I will see you guys next time for A Fistful of Datas.